Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Cam. Got another awesome video for you guys today. My thoughts on Bitcoin and Forex exchange. This is based on my experience. I've traded Bitcoin in the past when it was hot. It's also during the time when I was learning to trade Forex. Forex is the exchange of currencies, uh, Forex trading. It's basically, for those who don't know, it's like, you know how a currency from this country and a currency from a different country is is different at different values like to buy like a bread here it costs a dollar but in like yens or euros it's gonna cost a different amount you know we had to figure out you know how much dollars does it take to buy one euro that's the exchange so what you can do is you you kind of bet which one goes up which one goes down that is forex trading so it's a little complicated but that's how some people make money. Before you're like, okay, who, who's this guy? Why should I listen to you about Bitcoin? I made, I made like not much, but I made like ten thousand dollars on Bitcoin. It was easy. It was also like the during time when it just went straight up. So, I made the money. I got out. You know, I took the money and I used it to buy this house and I never traded it again because I realized how risky it is. If you're gonna do it if you want to do it. Uh, right now it's pretty hot. Right now it's back up to seventeen, eighteen, whatever it is. Yeah, let's dive into the video. So first. Bitcoin is risky. So if you were to jump into this market, please be careful. Trade with money that you don't mind losing. You know, don't throw all your eggs in one basket. Don't throw your savings in there. Don't don't go all in on this. It's it's an unpredictable market. So yeah, please be careful. Uh, use only extra money if you can. Next is because it's unpredictable. That's the beauty of it. It's volatile. And to a lot of traders, traders love volatility. What is volatility? It means price fluctuates it goes up and then it goes down it goes up and then it goes down and because there's like a, a such a difference you make the money from, from the difference say it, if it was like at like ten thousand and it goes to eleven thousand that's such that's such a one thousand dollar gap you can make that one thousand dollars if you bet it to go up vice versa if it goes down one thousand you can bet it to go down and because it's such a big gap you make more money and traders make money from like swings you know the further it goes from from the price you get it at, the more money you make. So that's a beautiful thing about Bitcoin. A lot of people also say that it's the future, that we're gonna move towards using this money as a digital currency. It's still in the talks, still in the works. It still has a lot of uh, tweaks to do, a lot of things to fix. For example, the number one thing is uh, security. Like, is it really safe to have this uh, coin? Like, people can just come into your wallet and steal it on the internet. It's still, people are still working out, society still working out. But recently, I think PayPal or something like that accepted Bitcoin, so that's also the reason why it popped back up. A lot of people start accepting it. Uh, big banks are accepting it, like Ripple and stuff. And I can see it being around in the future, so it's definitely something to look out. Be prepared for the future, maybe think about this market. Next tip is very important. When I traded it, I did not hold the coin. Let me explain, right? So a lot of uh, people, what they thought they can make money on this thing is to buy the coin, the actual coin. Like they put, they trade money for the coin, they hold the coin, just like a stock. They hold the stock and then they just wait for the price to go up and they sell the coin. A couple of things about this. You need a lot of money to play. You know, one coin is the price of Bitcoin is like 16, 18, almost 20K. You need that money to get one coin. I mean, you can get fractional coins, but regardless, you, you need a lot of money to make some. That's one downfall. No downfall is that you can only make money if it goes up. You know, if you buy, if you hold the coin and it goes down, you can't make money. Instead of holding a coin, I'm trying to teach you a new way and it's to Forex trade it. So it's a combination of Forex and Bitcoin. In the Forex world, you don't really hold euros, like you don't really hold Canadian dollars, but you can bet on the Canadian and USD dollar chart. You can bet if it goes up or if you can bet it goes down. So you can buy it or short it. Say if today it takes like two Canadian dollars for one dollar, you can bet that this goes up to three dollars Canadian, three, three Canadian dollars for one dollar. You're betting that the USD is going up because now USD is more expensive and now you need three Canadian dollars for one dollar. So you're betting the USD to go up and you're betting Canadians go down. And if you bet that direction and if it goes that your way, you make a lot of money. This way you don't have to buy the actual coin. Uh, you use less money to play. You can also make more money with less money. It requires a lot of training, a lot of learning how to read charts, learning how to trade, learning 
you know, sentimentals as well as technical skills. This way of trading is more <laughs> for actual traders. But even if you're a beginner, you can also learn how to trade. There's a lot of trading videos out there nowadays. Uh, maybe I can get into it and teach you guys how to read charts. Um, I used to read charts. I love charts. I just learned it from other people too. It's a great skill to have if you want to <laughs> learn to trade and you want to trade safely. It's very smart to, to read charts. A lot of my friends are getting into this. They're trading stocks now. They're trading Forex. They're, they're doing options. So I just feel like even if you don't get really good at it, it's just something nice to know and learn. And um, I'm here to uh, teach you guys that because I've been in that space for quite some time until I got into business. One guy that I learned from, it was he was called IP, Infinite Prosperity. The guy who taught me Forex basically. He started his company to teach Forex to a lot of people. The main, like the moral of the story that he taught me was that once you start making money in trading, there's more to life. Like there's more to just making money. I like, get yeah, trading is a great way to make money, but you're also like just hiding at home and just making money on a computer. But eventually what he taught me is that once you make the money, you want to start impacting others, doing bigger things like starting a business or like teaching others to trade, like doing something other than just staying home and making money. Well, I learned that and then I traded less actually. And I looked into starting a business and figuring out how I can help others instead of just making money for myself. At the end of the day, money is like an exchange of values, right? An exchange of energy. Although I did make some money in trading, it wasn't quite aligned to like my core. Like my core was to like trade value for money. And I guess trading is, is kind of like, I, I can't really see it as trading value. I'm, I don't feel like I'm helping anyone trading maybe to make the money and then teach others maybe that's a good way to bring value to others at the time i i didn't you know see it so i kind of stopped even though i was making some money on it and then i got into amazon because uh, at least i'm providing values in terms of bringing products to other people i might be going on a tangent right now let's go back to this so the verdict of bitcoin and fx like what's the verdict right is it a good idea it's an alternative asset it does has the opportunity to go up. And if you play it correctly, you know, obviously with the, the money, extra money, you can make some. It's nice to hold. Uh, I think a lot of young people are getting into it. I do see a future in it. So please be safe. I don't personally hold the coin. So what I'm trying to explain to you in this video is that you can bet where it's going and not carry the risk. You know what I'm saying? You don't carry the coin. All right, so the, the real question, let's answer the question. Should you trade Bitcoin? Should you get involved in this space? Before you do, consider your other options. There's a lot of great options out there. You can invest in silver, you can invest in gold, you can invest in the stock market, you can invest in the real estate market, you can invest in yourself. These are a lot of opportunities out there. And if you choose one, the opportunity cost is that you're not doing the other. Know your options out there before you do this and then pick out the options, which one you're more familiar, which one you have an interest in, which one do you even like? You know, which are passion, which one you just feel better with, and then proceed, right? And if if Bitcoin is your choice option or you have assets and everything else, and you're like, okay, let me diversify even more, and you wanna do Bitcoin, yeah, go for it. It's hot, it's big. Definitely, please do your research. I don't recommend, I recommend trading it as a like a currency and treat it as a currency or trade like the futures of it if you know what, what i mean about that but if you don't know what those are and it's very complicated and you still want to get involved and you just want to hold the coin then do it do what you please i i think it's it's gonna go up don't quote me on this according to the charts it looks like the correction is finishing it's like it went up to like 20k and it exploded and the bubble came back down to low as 3k during uh the pandemic and then uh, it's squeezing and now because with all the news, this PayPal is going to get it, like other companies integrating it. So it's coming back up. It's going to retest the 20K level where it used to be. If it happens to go past 20K, which is like the last high, if it goes past that, technically speaking, during, like according to technical analysis, it should keep going up. And the 20K will be act as a support, meaning that chances of it going under 20k is very unlikely yeah if it ever goes past 20k it's definitely something you can hold go for it i think that's a, that's a great move that's just quite expensive but everything's expensive nowadays right i heard silver's hot i heard silver's undervalued i'm gonna try and get into that so yeah i hope this video was helpful in some way shape or form for you guys please leave a like if you thought this was helpful please comment down below if uh, you have any questions about this topic if you want to talk more if you want to add something feel free i'm open arms to the community that being said uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, i'll see you next time peace